There you it wasn't are. me. It wasn't me. I was muted. Oh, okay. I, I, this sounds good right now. So we uh, we uh, in in uh, kind of like on the backside of the pandemic, I should say, we saw a, a tremendous upswing in outdoor furniture. You know, people had moved the furniture from inside of the restaurants, hotels to the outside, just to resolve a. A problem that came around when they were allowed to run the restaurants with outdoor seating, but didn't buy anything because they didn't think it was going to stick around, which is true in a sense. Uh, so now we have come around and see a new trend, which is laugh. outdoor furniture, where we need to have furniture that can also venture. <laughs> I was uh, can we can we unmute can we mute everybody? Is that possible? Ask to unmute. You everybody, so uh, da, da, da. no, we'll just keep going. Um, anyway, so uh, with that said, you know, with the uh, with the furniture kind of moving outdoor to indoor, uh, we thought we would write up a, a fresh representation of the furniture that can do just that. Um, so um, let's go into it here. We, uh, we started talking about the furniture that is, you know, plastic, it's, it's, it's fairly inexpensive, it's priced right, it is, it's design oriented, and the typical version of all the chairs we sell would be stackable, easy to clean. It can be used indoor and outdoor, of course. Outdoor, it can be used indoor that kind of like lends itself. Most of the steel frames that we have involved in the plastic furniture is... Uh, is a zinc anodized so it can really live on the beach. You know, it's, it's, it's durable enough to do that and powder coated, you can't really see the anodization. This is not a pretty sight. And then you get a chair that is very, very strong. Uh, so here we go, we drop into it with a couple of pictures. Uh, the Lisa chair that is right behind me here is a, um, it comes from the, the whole collection where you have chair, lounge, bar stool, armless, arms. Um, and it, it has all these different combinations where you have not just the seat in technopolymer, which we call plastic. Um, and it's also in the version of the chair that we call eco, which is refurbished. You know, it's just not refurbished, but it's, re, it's, it's recycled. It's manufactured from recycled material. And that has resonated tremendously with the design community that we now have seating that is recycled. Um, starting at $189, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a price that uh, pretty much everybody can, you know, jump in with, you know, and, and move along. And as I said, the collection is very broad. We go from the, the plastic seating to the PVC webbing to the marine rope. We go plywood. We go upholstered outdoor, upholstered indoor, and so there is a lot of uh, flexibility in the line. Uh, notice that you see the chair both on the front and the back. Uh, the back of the chair has to be pretty. That's the part of the chair we see the most. Not so much the front because that's when people sit in it and you don't see the chair. So the back of the chair has to be pretty, and the Lisa fits that bill. And Lady B is another chair that uh, has a lot of traction in the market. It can do indoor, outdoor. The look of the chair and the feel of the chair is indoor as well. It's, it's kind of like has that soft feel and look to it. Um, so the Lady B has, has really been very, very successful. And, and it, it starts with a price, again, where most of us can be a part of it. I understand that it's a part of the market that is, you know, less than a hundred dollars. We're there too with a few chairs and not that many anymore. It's just the, the way the pricing has gone over the last what, three, four, five, six months. You know, it's, it's, it seems like it's an explosion every day when we come to work, you know, there's, a, there's an increase. It, it kind of has settles a little bit and I can touch base on that, you know, with the logistics department, we can, we can now get containers. They still cost some, not as much as they did uh, a few months ago. And so that situation has kind of settled, not all the way, uh, but it's it's definitely made it made it a little bit easier to to breathe in that department. The Lady B is also available in the Go Green. So Go Green, as I said, is the recycled material, and um, very very popular, very popular. 
And uh, anyone, as we go along here, feel free to ask questions. You know, if you want to type them up, I know Alexander is going to sit on the other side and see as they roll in, and she can answer them so everybody can see. Or to me. The CC Wood is uh, uh, initially we 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 took it in. You know, the CC chair is a steel chair, steel back, steel seat either solid, perforated, or with a barcode. And I had the feeling that was going to be the chair that would be, you know, first thing seen is because it is in Europe. So we start showing the CC foot, and the foot has a lot more traction. Don't tell me I'm who, who is this? <laughs> it's like it's Dylan. Dylan who's, who, Dylan, who is singing along here? Oh, no, no, sorry, guys. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Great voice, though. <laughs> so the mahogany wood suddenly got traction, you know, even though it's an expensive chair. You know, it just it it kind of fits that bill that I was talking about before, where outdoor can now go indoor as well. Uh, so we have sold several restaurants with this chair, and it's it's beautiful. I mean, when it sits there, fifty, sixty off the mouth door, it it defines the whole area of the restaurant and, and it's just an impressive chair. So again, it's very comfortable too. Um, manufactured from F, FSC certified mahogany. Um, and it's, it's, you know, that's the main grown forest and reforestation and we don't take anything out of the wilderness and we plant a tree when we build, when we take a tree down. The same thing for the frame. Right, 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 right. The frame is uh, that's you, right? I'm no? Okay. So the frame is uh, zinc anodized and then powder coated. Um, we we have seen once we start hitting quantities 25, 30, that we can really get any color. So even though we, we only show a few colors in the standard collection, we can have any color painted on on the frame. That gives. Uh, the chair, just a lot of personality. There is a uh, cushion that can go on the seat or the back, as the seat and the back are identical in uh, in size and shape. But for the wood chair, a seat pad doesn't really make any sense. You know, it's 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 such a comfortable chair to sit in already. Um, let's roll in the remind chair. Can we swap around? You know, do I can actually do it myself? Yeah. Yeah. We have the remind chair coming up. There we go. This remind chair is kind of like a Paris uh, inspired design. Very comfortable. And notice that pretty much all the chairs that we show here today have a wider seat. Uh, so we're talking about, you know, seat that is that is more generous in its size and it suits the market a little bit better uh, than some of the smaller versions, uh, European cafe style, just not big enough. I mean, 14 inches doesn't do much here. You know, we, we want to see chairs that have a little bit more substance and the Remind chair definitely suits the bill in that one. It's a stacking chair, technopolymer. UV resistant, uh, definitely an outdoor chair can live in any environment. Um, it also comes in the uh, eco-friendly recycled option, which is, again, has become really, really popular. Um, the chair starts at $143. Uh, as I said earlier, I don't think we said it before we started recording, but we'll make a cheat sheet of this uh, whole presentation here so there would be a quick little one sheeter that will list all the pricing of the different product. And then of course we'll make uh, the presentation available as well. Gossip is another chair that has uh, kind of uh, hit the market again. Initially the Gossip chair was only available in the polycarbonate. And polycarbonate is uh, a very, very durable material. You see it in the lower part of the screen and black is glossy can also be clear, um, but polycarbonate is indestructible. So if we're looking for a chair into outdoor that is absolutely indestructible, then you go to polycarbonate. Uh, 
An example uh, this year ended up in Walt Disney Imagineering in Shanghai. Uh, we furnished uh, 1,100 chairs for all the food courts out there. It is now six years ago. And, and of course, we have zero breaking. There is absolutely no breaking going on in that chair. It, it's a very, 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 very strong model. Now they took the same model uh, that has been on the market for almost 30 years and took it into the Technopolymer which dropped the price. You know, as technopolymer is a very inexpensive material, but still super strong. And I think that chair has just reinvented itself and it's gonna hit the market, you know, at $109. It's at a price point where we can all enjoy the, the chair. It's wider in its seat, just like the Remind. Has a very generous seat form and very comfortable to sit in. Um, and I will uh, actually, uh, I, I started entertaining, we should maybe quick ship this, this chair here in the, on the US market. So uh, we'll send an email out to everybody and say, what do you think? What colors should we do? And, and if we get a consensus from everybody that we should have it, I'll take in a thousand chairs and put them in the warehouse, in the warehouse and we can just see where we go from that. You know, it's, but I, I really think it's, it's a great chair. I'll get some models sent out to you as samples so you can all see it, you know, and hold it in your hands and take it to your customers. Just a uh, fantastic chair. Same, uh, same thing is available in the uh, recycled material. Um, so it's, it's, uh, it has a, it resonates well with the uh, customers. The Joe is um, a chair that is in the collection. It's, again, it's a, it's a very generous chair in its size. You can color combine between the bottom part of the chair, which is the seat and the legs. And then the backrest is actually installed on site. So it's shipped, knocked down, but it's a very, very simple installation. You just kind of press it into the fittings and it clicks and you're done. And it, it's, but it's shipped what we call KD. So that gives us the possibility to make color combinations as you see in the lower left-hand picture there, uh, which is kind of fresh, but um, I say the only the only drawback on the chair is uh, the price. Um, Three hundred eighty-four. Mm, we're breaking into a different rhythm here. It's 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 not a chair that's going to go everywhere. There will, there will be people that will say, "Oh, that's a beautiful chair," but seriously, three hundred eighty-four dollars. Well, it, it's. I'm sorry, it is what it is. I have to say, um, um, it's just the way the construction of the chair is. But it, it lends itself to certain areas, and then maybe we can use it in a part of the outside to give a signal of welcome, here we are, we look different. And then maybe a different chair, like the gossip in the back area where we, uh, where we have more, more numbers to it. But I thought I would bring it in uh, as we have seen uh, people being interested in it. Let me go into the uh, chair and the tables. And again, I should say, any questions, please feel free, stop me. Uh, in this flurry of words or have Alexander response to, to texts. Outdoor tables, um, I wanted to touch base on, on a few. The uh, concrete base um, has uh, kind of uh, earned a classic uh, look. You know, we can get the color combination between the ply, the concrete in the bottom and it's available in low coffee, dining and full height. Um, it's, it's of course, you know, we say it's extremely durable. Well, it's, it's extremely hard to move around because the pace itself weighs almost 80 pounds, you know, so it's, it's certainly not going anywhere. Um, but we have the flexibility in the, in the steel colors as it's a powder coated finish that we can really, you know, do anything we want with a, with a color on top. It comes fully KD and easy to assemble and there we go. We have, uh, as we list these, the dining dimensions, what we mean is, is that's the maximum size of tabletop that the table will, 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 will support. And that tabletop that is manufactured by the manufacturer. So there's that combination of what is available, what can we make, and what is the table able of holding. Another uh, table collection is the ice. Um, this is now all plastic and uh, even the tops can be the technopolymer. So the price you're looking at here, $400, is a complete table installation. So top and base. Um, and you know, it, it's, we can say it goes well with 
pretty much anything that we have seen so far, the gossip, the remind, the Ginevra, they all kind of play along with the plastics um, and, and make a good combination. It's an easy table to move in and out. You know, it's just lightweight. Um, when we get up in the larger sizes, uh, like the Icon, which is a different shape, it's the more conical shape than the ice. And we get into these tables that can be 72 inches in di diameter. Uh, so now they're water ballasts. You know, when we set it in place, the base, it's set in place and we, we fill it up with water or sand and give some weight to the table. and it, of course, it will now stay in this place, but it can support tabletops up to six feet in diameter. Uh, also, an option in these table configurations here is that we have lights, interior lights. And I know there are some pictures online that, that illustrates, you know, areas with five, six, seven of those tables lit at night is really, really cool. You know, it's just, it's very, you know, wedding event driven, outdoor, indoor, take it back in and out. Um, I know that the uh, company like Best Western International, uh, that Nancy from uh, Arizona, she just got a contract with them for 3,000 uh, provinces all over the world. They have been very interested in in, uh, in styles like that. You know what we can we can put light into it. Um, the Nemo table um, has two functions in it. It's the folding the folding base when you fold it up. It folds into a little handle and it's uh, very, very easy to carry around in and out. You know, the European model where you put all the furniture in the squares and, and, and then at night everything goes inside where you can chain it up or, you know, leave it out. But, and then of course the fixed model. So there's, there's multiple solutions with the, uh, with the Nemo table. It is, um, we say it's one of the best sellers. It's one of the, the most driven quantities. Uh, as it is priced, you know, in that you know, under 200, we have a couple of bases that are less, but not as interesting looking as the Nemo. Uh, so it has for that specific manufacturer been just a workhorse over the years, they sell a lot of them. It comes in two parts, so it's easy to ship it. Uh, it was a part of the package that we send out with the samples uh, to all the rep groups. And, uh, we have uh, the table sizes listed, you know, and we can we say it's folding, it's nesting capabilities. And again, there's a handle on it when you fold it up. So it's very easy to carry it. Uh, it's also available in what we call a four top uh, where two table bases are ganged together underneath the top. So it creates that rigid assembly. Uh, we can actually do larger tops than that by adding multiple bases underneath the top. So if we locally manufacture a top that would be of say 10 feet community table, we just add four bases underneath it, individual bases and, and we're good to go. So it can, it can do that. Um, and just, I would say in that department, if you have that situation, come to us, ask us, we'll, we'll give you the, 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 the sizes that the, the table bases will hold. So we prevent tipping and overturning and all the liabilities that come along with that. The bistro table, interesting. You know, it's it's a uh, it's a different style, uh, uh, definitely from the word bistro, a branch. You know, and, and just goes in and out of the squares, and it, it pairs well with a bunch of the chairs that we show uh, that we have shown in this presentation here. Uh, the price you see here is a complete. It's a complete table, so we have a steel top or powder coated top with the base. And then it, it can be the three legs for the smaller sizes and four legs for the bigger sizes. And it's also available in bar. Liberty, um, been around for a long, long time. You know, it's that, that base is, is, is one of the first to be manufactured, but it's amazing that it's still just half the same traction. And it kind of reminds you about the, the French handrail, all you know, all concrete bases and with the chateaus all over France. And here we are, we have it as a table base um, with marble tops, very popular. Uh, we just uh, ran numbers on a restaurant out in Palm Springs here in California and, and just elaborate amount of granite and ovals and big size tables up to 10 feet. We have granite tabletops that's 10 feet long. 
uh, that we uh, we chase it down locally here, so we, we don't have to ship it all the way from Italy. Uh, the, the tabletops, you will find any of the tabletops that are standard um, out of the manufacturing in Italy in market are very, very inexpensive. They are super well priced. I mean, you see tabletops 24, 26, 27 inches for $200, you know, for, for a marble top. It's, it's very good. And so you, you should entertain that. But the, the backside of that is only the size you should see in the price book. That's it. You know, we, we don't have to ask even it's it's done. You know, we know the answer is no, uh, but we can do it locally. Uh, so um, if you want to be creative with us, uh, ask Alexandra and uh, on this restaurant in, in Palm Springs, we have solid black American walnut inside and we have the, uh, the marble on the outside. So creative, creative, go ahead. Tripe, um, I'm gonna show you a quick little presentation of it. I'm pretty sure it's been up for a while, but if not, then uh, here is, uh, here's a little presentation of that table collection. <laughs> that will do just that. And so it's a, it's a very quick presentation if anybody's asking about the table bases. Well, here's, it is on YouTube, so it's easy to access and easy to share with the designers. Any of the table bases I've seen, indoor outdoor ability is, is, it's coded for outdoor finish, so there is no restrictions on where you place it. Uh, gives again, give you that flexibility. And going back to the tables, I've talked about it for years and years now, but can't be said enough. We, we focus on the table base first. And then we say, what is your application? Where is it going? Is it going outdoor forever? Is it going indoor outdoor? Is there a tablecloth involved? If there is a tablecloth involved, $20 worth of plywood will do it. Because you're never going to see it. Well, 20 bucks, maybe not. So 30 bucks worth of plywood. Plywood has skyrocketed in price too. But it's just that that's how we do it, you know? So that way you can play with all these different materials in glass and granite and marble and quartz and solid surface laminate, regular veneer, solid wood, you know, it's all there. It's, uh, it gives a lot of flexibility to how the, tables, the table base is looked at in itself. We, we list, as always, when we, we go into these table bases, we say max table size is and one of the reasons for that is we have, I want to say, we probably sell half of the tables we sell. We only sell the base. We just sell the base because there's so many interior designers. They have driftwood or whatever came out of the woods or the local thrift store. They want to make tops out of it. Okay, no problem. The only problem comes on the liability issue. When you sell a table base and you say the maximum tabletop is and then we have to list it when, when they buy it so when they put a 42 inch top on the base because they felt it felt good you know and it tips over and somebody break a foot well we've got to be we've got to be able to go back and say look we said and the same thing with the connections you know when you connect the new tabletop to our existing base it is it is on you as a as a consumer as a customer to assume that liability and the reason for that, I say that, is when I bring that up to the major players, the Whole Foods, the Walt Disney Imagineering, the hotels, they don't want to hear that at all. They want me to have the liability insurance 100%. Well, if that's the case, you have to buy the top from me. Well, see, if we provide the whole table, of course, there is a full warranty and product liability insurance. Um, and just one more time, you know, with the product liability insurance, the buck stops here. It stops at my desk. It does not go any further. When we say five-year warranty, it stops here. 
So we make the termination about warranty issues when a chair breaks, which is rare. We have had one just recently uh, that came back with a splintered leg that we looked at. And he said, it was somebody sat in a chair, all four legs on the ground, and one leg totally splintered. I was like, really? That's, that sounds amazing, you know? It's like, but there's a first to everything. Of course, it was cleaning crew that had dropped the chair and it fell on the side and splintered the leg, but that was later. The mission was the chair broke. But it stops here, as I said. So, oh, we go with that. We don't want to play it again. So, a um, little bit more pictures on the Trupe base, you know, different color selections. It's because it's powder coated, we have the rainbow as our limit. You know, it can really be anything. You can dream it up yourself. If there is what we call an RAL number on the color, we can paint that color. And it's RAL is the same color all over the world. So just give me an RAL number and we'll paint it. Um, then we start doing some combinations um, and we show the summer chair, armchair, bar stool um, that here is starting at $141 um, that we pair with the Leo table. And I'm sorry, that was the very first one I showed here, the Leo table, it's the blue table in the middle. We'll get to it a little bit later, but that's the combination there. So we get the same color scheme um, and chairs alike. There it is in a satin bronze finish. That's clearly an indoor indoor finish. It goes to the summer table. That the summer table is the one that the chair is sitting on here. At super inexpensive. I mean, these these and they're built like tanks. They they require assembly. So four legs got to go on it, and it takes a little bit of time. You know, it's I say 10, 12 minutes to put the table together, but. You just make, I want to make sure that people are not surprised when they get the box. Oh my God, I'm opening here and there's parts inside. You know, it's not a table that can ship. And of course, we can't ship it assembled, you know, but there are three sizes available in, in one of them in Bar High. Um, so that has a lot of traction because it's tank. It's just built really, really strong. 16 gauge steel, steel top with powder coated finishes. And um, very simple in its design. It doesn't steal much from the look. You know, you, you pair it with the chairs and the chairs will take the look, not so much the table. Here's the Leo table, uh, cafe, clearly 23 and a, and a half. So it's, it's a small table, it's a cafe table. 156 bucks, you can't go wrong. You know, it's like pair that up with a chair and you have a set for like 400 bucks and, and you know, you're good to go in a cafe and then it gives you a, a nice look. Um, so there's the Leo table in different colors and different setups. Villa is uh, one of the newest additions to uh, the line. Um, I like it. You know, it's like it's it's. Uh, I like the dual frame. It, it's it's it really really strong. It's it's a very very strong chair. It has the mesh. The mesh with the powder coating gives it a very soft feel because the powder coating starts filling up all these voids. And it's uh, just a rich feel to the chair. Also available in an armchair and parcel in the same collection called Villa. Lounge, um, lounge outdoor, indoor, uh, the Lisa in uh, PVC webbing as we see on the upper right, in marine rope on the lower, and then with the table where the table top is removable. So in hotel, pool areas, they use it as a serving tray. You know, you, you take the whole top of the table away, fill it up with whatever you do and come back and set it down and there's your food served. So, or you can turn it around and becomes a rounded edge that nests into the frame and, and it has a different look. Um, we're going to the, the mech chair. I think you see it in the back over there, but it, it's the pictures are probably serving better. I like this chair. It's, it's definitely, yeah, it's, it's a sculpture. You know, I think a lot of the furniture that serves as sculpture really has its place that way. You know, you, you want to send a certain message when people come in, put two of these down, you send your message. Um, we have seen this chair here uh, fully upholstered. Um, it's starting at 507 in the plastic version. Just imagine when you put leather on it, it's probably more like 1500 but it's a beauty. I mean, hence it's leather uh, all over the place. It's a very wide seat. It's a very comfortable. Um, I can see this uh, introduced to boutique hotels as a balcony set. 
you know, we had two and, and a small table on the balcony. It was, it will send a beautiful message. When you look at the room, look out and you see these chairs on the balcony. It's, it's, it's a very unique uh, piece. Ginevra, um, also a, a very nice wider seat, lower legs, you know, so it's a, it's a lounge chair. Uh, this one is also available in the, uh, in the uh, economy or eco chair. Uh, starting on 147, it's definitely, now we're playing with everybody. So you can talk about balcony sets, two of these and an Arco table uh, that you see in the midst, it's a picture down there. Um, it, that's, that's definitely something that's really, really going, it's going to go fast. See the Arco table so is selling at $93. So under 400, you have a balcony set with two Ginevra lounge and a table. So he's a swing is the latest addition to it. It's, it's kind of like, um, when they when they came up with it, I was like, "Oh, cool!" And they sent me the price, and I said, "Not so cool anymore." <laughs> you know? But we have had a couple of requests for it, but from uh, I, I think they're, they they look like interior designers that want to impress their clients with something unique in the backyard. <laughs> but it's definitely not a swing you put up for your kids, that's for sure. Uh, but it's it's there, you know. It's it has that whole different look and appeal. It's, it's to me, when, when we came up with it, I said, this is more a piece that will get some attention. We're not gonna sell a thousand of these, but it will get attention for sure. To round everything up, uh, we have the Lemon Rocking. Uh, lemon Rocking is it's a really cool piece. Um, uh, just, it, it looks good, you know, it's very different. And uh, it can be set up in front of hotels and. Uh, fire pit areas, et cetera, et cetera. You know, there's, there's many, many options with that chair. It's, it's a beautiful piece. It's, it's a sculpture in itself. And of course, super comfortable on the inside to sit in the chair. So here we go. I kind of busted, you know, busted through it really quick. I don't want to take uh, too much time out of your day, but I uh, just wanted to give everybody a, a kind of reminder and a little bit about the, the chairs that we see the most. Uh, so the thing on the pulse is what you just saw here and, and you can use it in your sales presentation. Of course, this will be available as a slideshow that you can, you can brand it with your own logo uh, as rep groups and, and start sending it out. People, of course, can go through it much, much quicker than I did. You, know, you just click through it and see all the pictures and, and the pricing is current and ready to go. So here we go. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it very much. Happy Friday. Any questions? Then uh... you go on the um, cheat sheet that you're going to send out. Yes. On some of those, there's so many versions, and each one fulfills a specific uh, requirement or specification. Is there a way on that cheat sheet you could put a couple of the variations? Yes. Thank you. Absolutely. I don't. I don't mind doing that at all. You know, we'll, we'll just send this lady going to the Lisa collection. We can show you the collection. Great. We can show you the pricing of the collection. We can show the pricing of the Lady B, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, I can, I can certainly do that. Thank when I say you. I can do that, I mean, Lori can do that. <laughs> she just came in, she's on the, she, she's overheard my gig. You know, like, oh yeah, that's kind of, okay. <laughs> yes. Um, when are the new price books going to be online? It's coming along, you know, we're plugging away. We found a, um, a, I think a good method. We had a meeting yesterday, quick little uh, session on what we, we should focus on. We were working with about uh, 15,000 SKUs. We had the last pricing established last week. Uh, so now we're settled. I feel that we're settled between all the manufacturers for the foreseeable future. I, 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 I sense a certain it's, you know, things are settling. It's not as crazy and out of control uh, like three, four months ago. Things have settled. Wood has started coming down. You know, we saw it going from $100 and $200, you know, what is it called? The cubic meter, which is how they measure the price up to $500 a cubic meter, uh, has settled down a little bit, you know, to the 460s. I don't think we'll ever come back to where we were before. It's just, it's too good for all the manufacturers. You know, all, all the raw materials has found new price levels. Uh, the shipping lines, they're not gonna go back to $4,000 a container. 
if they have been able to charge us $12,500 the last year and get away with it. You know, they're not going to go back to 4,000. They may go back to eight. That's what I mean. It's just, it's, it has found its level. I think it's going to come down a little bit. And if it does, we'll be the first one to hand it over. I'm much more interested in selling furniture in quantity than selling very few and with a high, it just doesn't make sense to us. It's not our business model. Um, so we'll make sure that it's, it's happening. So what we're doing on the price book is we're taking out all the popular, all the ones that are selling the most. They will come up. It will be a little bit, maybe by the day, we'll post them on the webpage. So you will get additions to the webpage. And if you send in specific requests, I think we had a request from uh, Tamara up in uh, Parker City last week. And we immediately did those pages right away and just said, okay, here it is. You know, it's like, and up it goes. So now we have those pages taken care of. Um, so give us a little time. Uh, it's, it's an undertaking with 15,000 SKUs to get everything right. But if there's any questions, just feel free and we will jump on it as soon as we can, as fast as we can get you our, your answers over. Um, and the same thing goes for the cheat sheets. We took everything down. Uh, not to have anybody be misrepresenting uh, the price level. Um, though I can say in big numbers, from what we looked at uh, about a year ago to today, 25% up, pretty much. At some, in some cases more, in certain cases a little bit less. Uh, there, there are certain chair models when you go in, for example, and you create a new, a new mold for a brand new chair, call it the Remind chair that we just saw, the Gosset chair that has come up. When they make that mold, that the cost of a mold like that is 500,000, half a million bucks. So they build a certain percentage into manufacturing the chairs and getting their, their recovering the half million. So once you hit that mark, you will see the chair come down 20%. It's happening, it's, it's, it's a three year period, you know, it's like, there's a lot of things in business that I call a thousand day rule. So when you break into a market, you're not going to see traction in the market for a thousand days. You work so hard every day, you present, you go see, and you get an order here and there, but you know, you're not going to see anything major shifting towards you for a thousand days. That's just how it is. It takes time to get new product in. And I just gave all of you guys a huge excuse for not selling anything. <laughs> But anyway, this is so it is. And it's the same thing with developing a chair. It takes about a thousand days from it hits the blanket or the napkin in a, in a little cafe in Paris until it's manufactured. It takes three years, you know, going through testing and product development and stretching off the fabric and setting it all for testing with Bifma or Katas and all this. And then finally you have a price on the chair that will hit the market. Um, so, but we'll get there with the pricing. I appreciate your patience. I know you don't have it, but I still appreciate it. It's just, you say that. I so appreciate that you guys have patience. I have no patience. I don't have time for this to wait. <laughs> but it is what it is, right? Yes. Anything else? Other than that, I will say uh, thank you again very much. Appreciate your time on this uh, Friday morning, midday. Um, and uh, we're here to support you with uh, whatever you have. Just let us know. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. All right, guys. Vigo. Yes. Thanks, Vigo. Thank you, you Vigo. Absolutely. My pleasure. Bye. Bye bye. Vigo, I have a question. Oh, Can yeah. You, since Go before you hang up. Yep. I noticed when we were had our meeting the other day, you were saying the lead time were like five to seven weeks. Can be in very extreme cases. Okay, so I was I got, so I was using six to eight, but I'm seeing Alexandra said ten. Yeah. To, what what should I use? Now it's just, if you want to if you want to play it safe, Heather, the safest bet and to make sure that you're there in time to, is to say half a year. <laughs> then you know you'll not be late. But there's there's a, there's a balance there's a balance in it. To say, Heather, we go in and we have uh, we have a customer. We had a customer that came up a few months back and said, I want to buy a thousand chairs. All right, that's cool. So we, we priced out a thousand chairs. How quickly can I get them? 
do you want them all now or do you want to are you gonna are you gonna accept a thousand chairs in one swoop then we can do it in five weeks because they're sitting in the warehouse packaged in italy ready to go so now it's only question is to send a container or out fill it up and send it to you and there are clients that have that and most of the clients with larger corners they don't want to see it at the same time their their vision is to distribute it into 20 different stores so then we start playing with the numbers like okay we'll fill a little bit in this container a little bit in this container a little bit but in the case that we where we say fast as possible to you in florida five weeks i feel comfortable it's, it's filling our container, loading it up, getting it to the harvest, shipping it into Miami, and bring it out to you. That can That's be like plastic, but then a poster add a few oh, extra. Poster adds uh, the production time, three to four weeks to the production time. So you're looking at five to six weeks in Italy alone, and then okay. another five weeks to cross the water. So you're ten to twelve. Oh, and okay. the, the quantities get smaller. Heather, where you come up and say, "I want to buy seven bar stools." Cool. That's awesome. Now you have to pair yourself with a container leaving and that you may have missed a container that just left last week and we don't have a container shipping for another four weeks. Well, you're going to miss that one too, because your production time is six. Oh, so, okay. so you see, that's where we start hitting 12, 14 weeks, you know? Okay. So I need to change my, my, um, presentation. It's, Not it's, presentation. Heather, it, it's a, it's a touch and feel like if you're right. in front of the designer and say, for me to answer the question correctly, what are you looking to buy? What are you buying? Are you, are you buying 240 chairs for a whole lot right. of setting with uh, 120 tables? Well, quick questions to Alexander. She will say, that's a container. You got it, Heather. Let's leave. Well, I'm talking more. Yes, I'd love to get those big orders, but I'd like more to. General, more general, it's safer to, to keep the lead times at 10 to 12 weeks. That's typically. For plastic or for a poster? For, for, for a post for everything. You can say 10 to 12 weeks is a general. But I could say if it's just plastic and there's a container going, we could get something sooner. Yes. You can. You can. can check. Mm -hmm. yes. And you can always check with me. I have a, a good idea of when a container will leave. Yeah. So I did a meeting this morning with Gensler uh -huh. and my, my librarian, just so you know, she's sharing with all the other librarians, even though they're not my territory. So um, they were very, I, I added to my presentation, yeah. I added some, my slides and they were really liked some, what I showed them. So I think there's huge opportunity. Um, yeah, we, have, uh, we have really good representation and have been taking a fair amount of orders out of Gensler, Los Angeles. Okay. The, the head of interior design up there, um, she happens to be a Danish friend of mine, which doesn't hurt me um, in, in my connection with her. It's just in love with it. They love it and they use it. Yeah. They use it a lot. And it's, it's so important when, because they sit in meetings, you know, they're going to the librarian and to the head of interior design. Hey, we've got this project here. What's the feel? And they go like, hey, use interior collection here. And uh, okay, the junior designer is not going to say no. You know, right. It comes from the top down. So when they say, right. when you go in and you get a good, a good feel with Gensler in Miami or Orlando, you got it. It's a go. And, and it's, it's like I say with any interior designer, a customer hires an interior designer and pay them $200 an hour for their professional opinion. And they come right. back to the customer and say, in tarot collection, the customer is not going to turn around and say, no, absolutely not. They just paid them $200 for their opinion, you know? So, so it's really when interior designers of that magnitude, like Gensler, HOM, HOK, I mean, Ryan, just, I mean, all the top 10, 20, 100, they have so much power in, in when they go back to the, to their customers. I also did a meeting with my Hayworth dealer uh, yeah. who really liked some of the stuff I told him the wrong lead times I have to get back and he might have an opportunity, but I need to be more exact on the lead times. He yeah. liked the Flux chair. I don't remember if the Flux is coming in my samples. Flux. The Flux is Flux. the F-O-X. Flux. Okay, Flux, yeah, yeah. That's a nice looking chair. Great looking chair. Great looking chair. It's, it, it's, uh, it has that, that, that component of wood, steel, metal, you know, and, and it's, it's, it's not crazy prices. It looks really, really well in restaurant settings. It looks super good in the cafeteria, corporate. Absolutely. No, I, I, I and I, we have very well-presented 
connection in uh, Dallas. I'm not sure the Dallas people are still on, but um, there's a big- well, I could use them as a reference, right? Absolutely, Hayworth, uh, it's, a, it's a Spencer group over in- uh, Spencer, uh, What's the name of the dealer there, Spencer Group? Spencer, S-P-E-N-C-E-R in Dallas, Texas. They are Hayworth dealers and they, they're very well connected with Radcliffe, the rep group in Dallas, yes. I use Radcliffe, okay. Okay. Yeah, I just want you to know the lead time. So I'll make sure I fix that. And then um, and most when you're working with the Genslers in some of those projects, you have 10 to 12 weeks or even sometimes longer. It's just... Yes, I agree with you. It, 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 the, the, the more pro the architects are, the better understanding they have of the whole... Right. Oh, how does it work? You know, it's, 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 it's often when you when you run into small uh, architect firms that are designing a little cafe down the street, you know, oh, we want it in three weeks. You don't have to talk to me. You know, why are you talking to me? I can't right. do, I don't right. have anything in three weeks, you know. Oh my yeah. God, you know, like it's, okay, well, it's just, it is what it is. So it, that's that's where you as a salesperson rap, you know, you understand the questions. Yeah. understand what to ask first. And, yeah. and you know, I'm, I'm so sorry, I can't help you, but you know, come back or are you willing i've used that one too are you willing to let the look of your restaurant the next five to seven years be determined by what yeah. you get out of the warehouse now or right. do you want to wait another six weeks and have these options yeah i don't i don't that, that's as long as i i tell them up front but i have another question which i think you answered last time i did another design from last week he's not on the smaller he came from um he liked uh was it our he liked, he liked the Nima, the Knowlton. Yes. He liked two or three of our bases. So I have to send him a link, which um, I, I have to do. I found hard to find it. But anyways, if he's doing like four tables at a time, that's okay. It's just, absolutely. right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Totally. Because he kind of liked it as his standard for cafes, for his break. Oh, break totally. you said that, that we do that too. You know, there's... I think you were one of the that asked, you know, what's your minimum quantity? Well, it really is one. You know, I can't sell right. I can't sell less than one, but but in many of the of the plastics that package different, so you get four to a box and six to a box, and those are the minimums. Uh, but in table bases, it's actually one. Yeah. So uh, I think he like the Nima, the the Norton, uh, and I think the icon. But I have to send him the information. I uh, uh, I think it's called Nubita. Nima. Oh yes, you're right. I wrote because he was taking all these. I was writing so quickly, so. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, it's, it's okay. uh, Nima, inexpensive. Lolita, inexpensive. Icon, inexpensive. They, okay. I'm all three of them less than two hundred. Okay. Very okay. good. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Have a great weekend. Yes, ma'am. Bye. Take care. Bye bye.